Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video. This time I'll be showing you how to make arrays in Java. <laughs> yeah. So, what's an array? Well, an array is a group of variables packed together into one single variable. I mean, that's the way I can explain it, at least. I'm not good at explaining. But, yeah, it's just a group of variables. So, um, also, variables in the array have to be all the same data type. But, anyway, before we get into it, let's make a new project. So, let's open up IntelliJ. Okie dokie, so we're here now and we're going to create a new project. So anyway, so go to next here. We're going to create a project from the template and we'll name it arrays part one. And we're going to set the project location to desktop and then find the folder I made. Java complete tutorial. There we go. And then we got to do the thingy here because it likes to bully us arrays part one so that's the project folder anyway and then we got a package and we're good to go so let's click finish uh yeah okay this window all right so i have a code here all good so let's get rid of this oops all right so here's like the basic anatomy of an array you have the data type then you have the name of the array like you would name a variable basically and yeah so so like I said, um, the array has to have the same data type throughout the whole thing, and so that's why you put that's what you put in place with this. You put like int string or whatever you want to have it as, and the name is just like a name of an array that you want to give it. So just like I said, whatever you want to give it, and yeah, it's pretty basic. So and then you have to have these things after these little brackets. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Anyway, so let's create our first array, and it will be empty for now. So int days in week, and that tells it it's an array. The thing right there. And there we go, we have an array now. So this creates an array with the name days and week with the type of int. And now that we have created the array, array, we need to allocate some memory for that array. So we can do this two ways. We First, we can use the array we just made and do this. Equals new int and then seven inside because we'll have seven uh, entities. Entities are variables in our array. So this uses the array de uh, declaration we just made and gives it a space of seven integers because I specified int right here. So the thing that says net new right here is a special keyword inside of Java that we'll learn about later on. If we check these values for the array should all equal zero. So that's the default when you use new. Okay, so the second way to make an array, um, let's give her this. And then it's really simple, pretty much the exact same thing. We just add this on using, we're gonna mention it basically and then uh, specify new int seven. And it is the exact same thing, so. So now that we got out of that, that we got that out of the way, we can uh, start setting and accessing the values of the array. So to set the value of an array, you need to know which index you want to access. So what I mean by that is know which variable in the array you want to access, like the first one, the second one, third one. And this may get a little confusing because arrays are actually zero based. This means that when counting up, the first one, the index isn't seven, is actually zero. So it starts from zero, one, two, like that. So that means that since there's seven allocated variables in our array, the index will look something like this, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it stops there because there is seven each variable, like there is seven variables, but they're not indexed that way. So if we want to search up this, the second one, we would actually put one instead of two. So zero, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven of them. So if we want to change the second day in the week to Tuesday, we can do something like this days in week one, that's for the index inside here. And then equals, uh, has to be a number actually, because we specified int, so 45. I'll just do two, 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 two. Okay. So now remember, um, I use the index of one because one is actually two since the array starts at zero. So let's see if this worked by printing the value. So the system, or no, we'll use the shortcut out. And we'll say, oops days in week. Oh wait, no. Second day of the week. And then right here we'll print our second value in the array. And that should be good. So let's try running that. Yeah, there we got it. Second day of the week is 222. So 
There we go. So let's go ahead and set the value for each index of the array and print them out just for practice. So let's go ahead and do that. Days and week zero equals three t three. And I'm just going to copy all these because I'm lazy, but I advise you type the rest of them out and not be lazy because you need to practice probably if it's your first time doing this. Four, four, four. Five, six, so it stops there because there's a zero base. That's scary. What did I do wrong? Oh, <laughs> derp. There you go, all done. So now let's print each of them out. Okay, so that should work. Let's run this. And there we go, I printed all of them out. So that's pretty cool. It also a second, but whatever. You get the point, hopefully. So as you can probably tell, that gets pretty dang tedious. So we can make our lives easier by using what's called a array initializer. This allows you to, to declare all the values in the array from the get-go, and the memory will be automatically allocated. So we don't have to specify, like right here with this, how many there will be. So let's optimize our code by doing this. So Let's get rid of all this crap here. And we're gonna create the same array, but we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna use the array initializer, like I said. So days and week equals, and then here, inside the curly braces or brackets, whatever you wanna call it, you put your data. So we specify that it's gonna be int, so we're gonna use a bunch of int. So 111, there we go. So now that's the same thing as what we just did. So that's pretty cool. So now we have all of that again. So let's, I'm actually going to cut this out. Wait, can I? Okay, good. So I'll cut this out and then we're going to pull this other thing back up. And then we're just going to paste it here so we don't have to type all that again. So I'll print that out. There we go. It does the same exact thing. So that's actually all to it. That's how you do arrays. Pretty simple. So. One more thing though, let's practice our skills with a little test so that you can prove yourself to your master. And uh, so create for me a program and a new file that uses an array, actually not a new file, just do it in here, whatever, that uses an array with a bunch of floating values, like 1.2, like 20.5, you know, stuff like that, and finds the average of all those values added up together. So do that and you get 100 respect points um, and I'll actually like you. And so pause the video and go ahead and then I'll show you what to do. So pause right now and then I'll show you. Okay, so hopefully you figured it out. If not, it's okay. It's actually much simpler, simpler than you think. So let's get started. So we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to make a new array here. Double sum uh, of... Oh, no, no, no. Floating numbers equals... And we're going to use the array initializer here. 4.2, 14.2. Uh, that, that that okay so that's it and then we're gonna do uh, double sum of numbers and then we're gonna add each of these so floating zero floating one and there's four of them so we're gonna go all the way to three And there will be an easier way of doing this in the future. We'll learn that with iteration. Uh, what do we do wrong here? So double sum numbers. No, oh, I see what it is. We use an array here. Actually, this is just going to be a regular double. So that's a pretty simple mistake. Oopsies. Anyway, so let's do um, total. So that's the total number of values we have in our array. Because to get an average, we do um, you add all of them up and then divide it by how many there are. That's how you get the average of something. So then we'll double, and we're going to create the average here. Equals sum of numbers divided by total. And then we're going to print that out. So sout average. So hopefully that works. I pull up calculator. Okay, so we get 23.6. So let's test that out ourselves. So 
three, four, six. Is that what we got? Yep, that's what we got. So it works. Um, hopefully you made it. If you did, good job. If you didn't, just it's okay. Just yeah, it's okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll help you. Um, if you want to watch some more vi of these videos, subscribe, and I'll release another one every day. And subscribe if you want to see more. Like I said, <laughs> uh, leave a like if you liked it, and peace.